China has finally revealed its first female flying robot, which is none other than Taikobot. The flying humanoid robot Taikobot stands tall like an adult, but interestingly, its weight is less than a child. Taikobot is equipped with the latest sensors and camera. Taikobot has been designed to reduce workload of astronauts on the Chinese space station. Undoubtedly, this robotic phenomenon is all set to revolutionize space exploration. Taikobot can perform its tasks independently and assist the scientists in their day-to-day -day operation. Taikobot has the potential to unlock the latest possibilities in the huge expanse of cosmos. The remarkable flying robot has been developed as an association between two reputed scientists of China, Zhang Shi and Zhang Yulin. Zhang Shi works as a professor at a national university of defense technology and led the refinement of this cutting-edge technology. Interestingly, Zhang Yulin has served as a former deputy commander-in-chief of China's manned space flight program and a professor of Zhejiang University. He had an important role in bringing Taikobot to reality. Taikobot has an impressive height of 1.7 foot and weighs a sheer 25 pounds. You will be surprised to note that China's first female flying robot ensures the perfect balance between size and maneuverability. So, how is Taikobot different from other humanoid robots? Well, its advanced sensors and cameras allow it to have an amazing perception and situational awareness. Taikobot can smoothly explore the surrounding, interact with objects, and do tasks with accuracy and precision. You will be astonished to know that the robot has been in development for many years and is equipped with artificial intelligence that allows it to monitor the health of astronauts, assist with experiments, and perform spacecraft maintenance work. As per the lead researcher on the project, Dr. Li Wei, Taikobot has been developed to be a companion to Chinese astronaut. The robot will provide them with support and assistance during their mission. Dr. Li mentioned in an interview how their goal was to design a robot that is versatile, intelligent, and possesses the ability to work alongside humans in space. Taikobot is an important step towards attaining the goal. Taikobot uses artificial intelligence algorithms to analyze data and make simple decisions based on that data. It can also perform challenging tasks easily without any human involvement. Taikobot's important feature is the ability to learn and adapt to new situations. Taikobot is an attempt by the researchers of China to create a permanent imprint on space. China has already introduced many manned missions and is presently also working on developing its own space station, which will be completed in the coming years. Dr. Lee considered Taikobot to be an attempt to advance their understanding of the universe and exploration of space. So, we can soon find Taikobot to be a new astronaut in the crew of China's Tainong space station. Interestingly, the scientists can also enjoy the caretaking services of the humanoid robot for the station in the human's absence. The full-scale free-flying humanoid robot was originally developed by engineers at the National University of Defense Technology in Changsha. Its trial inside a mock-up of Tiangong, China's space station, has been completed successfully. During the test, Taikobot was discovered to assist workers with tasks around the station, moving and maintaining equipment, and holding and controlling tools like hammers and electric screwdrivers. Taikobot's experiments revealed that the humanoid robot can perform simple and repetitive tasks along with astronauts. It also has the ability to improve the onboard working performance of the astronauts. According to the team behind the development of Taikobot, the first flying female robot also possesses an anthropomorphic dual arm system with 6 degrees of freedom, as well as two dexterous hands with 15 degrees of freedom dual arm system, which enables it to work on several tasks at the same time. The team also mentioned how space exploration missions are estimated to grow in large and its complex and lengthy processes will be performed by the robotic assistant. These robotic assistants will also perform specific duties quite efficiently and hence their use will become increasingly common. Robotic assistants are able to work 24-7 and consumes only solar energy. If they are compared with human astronauts who need a complex areas of machineries to live in space, robotic assistants are quite competent and effective. The team also noted how with the prosperity of manned space activities like space tourism and deep space exploration, Robots will soon become partners of human astronauts in space in order to provide their strength and ability. Furthermore, future human habitants in deep space like space station and lunar orbits may not be adaptable for humans to have their long-term presence because of the cosmic radiation 
and its distance from Earth. However, humanoid robots like Tychobot can be utilized as housekeepers of these habitats and they can be enabled to perform basic operations and maintenance functions during the absence of the crew member. No wonder the space economy is on this rise as there is a lot of potential in space tourism. Moreover, robots like Tychobot can also assist mass space tourists. One can note how Zhang Shi mentioned in the team's paper that was released in the International Peer Review Journal Machine last year. He stated that Tychobot can perform stable in cabin navigation, robust astronaut detection and tracking, plus skillful object manipulation. The female robot also has the potential to manipulate a set of tools and interface that are developed for human beings. In a research paper, it can be remarked that Tychobot's design has been referenced from human ergonomics to a major level so that there can be a human-robot association. With a height of 1.71 meters, Tychobot possesses an anthropomorphic dual-arm system with six DOFs each, two dexterous hands with 15 DOFs each, a torso with two DOFs, two zero-g legs with four DOFs each, plus a pan-tilt unit in the head to simulate environmental understanding. In total, Tychobot has 54 DOFs to deliver sufficient whole body flexibility in a space station. Several photographs of the assembled Tychobot went viral on Chinese social media platforms on April 2023. Some also considered Tychobot's appearance to be that of an Ultraman superhero character who triumphs over monsters. While robots like Tychobot can be quite expensive to design and even maintain, there is a potential threat of technical malfunction or error. Unlike round walking robots on the planet Earth, Tychobot has a unique movement strategy and it can easily mimic how humans move in space. This whole body joint control is named PFP and can be categorized into three sub-processes, push-offs, flight, and parking. Push-off stage involves the Tychobot jumping against a wall while the flight stage is when a robot comes across its target while carrying cargo or tools in order to make rectifications in the air to stay in the alignment. Parking includes stable whole body docking for subsequent operations achieved by gasping handrails or using a wall to slow down. In a nutshell, Tychobot is mainly a humanoid robot assistant that can operate locomote in microgravity through whole body motion control. The robot's lightweight design concept lower its launch cost. Extensive simulation experiments on the PFP motion were carried out by the team behind the development of Tychobot. They confirmed the feasibility and benefits of this unique locomotion strategy in microgravity. However, Tychobot is not the first humanoid robot launched in space. In the past, robots such as Robonaut 2, Kiribo, and Skybot F850 has been utilized inside the International Space Station. Robonaut 2 was built by NASA and General Motors in 2011. It mimics the human upper body and is restricted in mobility. It was experimented by astronaut for the first three years when it was in the space station and had the capability to turn knobs and even press buttons. However, it was sent back to Earth in 2018 to get itself repaired after it malfunctioned. Although Robonaut 2 was not completely operational, it created a sufficient working environment for human astronauts in the space station. Kirobo from Japan is a tiny chat bot created to relieve astronauts' loneliness. The most progressive Skybot F850 generated by Russia in 2019 is also a humanoid robot that can open hatches, pass tools, and simulate extravehicular activities. It can even drive a car back on Earth. However, to overcome gravity, it is furnished with strong joints and supporting structures, which raises its huge budget. Unfortunately, after getting tested by cosmonauts, it was sent back to Earth after some days. Robotic arms and space station supports astronauts with transportation and maintaining assignments. Some of the most successful robotic arm includes NASA's Astrobee, Japan's free-flying robotic camera Intbo, Canada's robotic arm Canada Arm 2, and a robotic arm on the Tiangong space station. One of the most reason why there is so much exploration and advancement related to robonauts is so that they could work next to human in space. Space agencies across the world are trying their hands to build robonauts who can work side by side with humans or go places where there is a higher risk for humans. Robonauts are predicted to extend the ability for construction and discovery. So, do you also agree that the making of Tychobot is expected to solve the purpose and goals of space stations and space agencies? Will there be more destructions in the natural universe with the progressive and cutting-edge technologies? 
Or do you support science and technologies to further explore and utilize universe mysteries? Use the comment section to share your views. You can also like the video and subscribe to our channel.